Communicate our thoughts and feeling stories that can make you relate. And we talk to some cool people we met on the way. So thanks for tuning in. We hope that you like your stay. Hi guys, I'm Melina and I'm joined by Anthony for another episode of the Girl Stuff Podcast. You probably know him as Felix in Love, Victor, and that is what we're going to talk about first. So, um, you guys just, like, wrapped season three and it's coming out next month. What is, like, going back to the beginning of the show, what originally drew you to the project? Oh, I love the character. The character is so much fun. Uh, it's just this guy who's always supportive and, like, there for his best friend. And that's kind of, like, when I went in to audition for it, that's kind of, like, all I all I had and he was just like this funny interesting dude and then uh, uh yeah so that's kind of what drew me in plus like the love Simon universe is awesome and everything like that so uh, uh and then on top of that the people the more I got to know people the more like just I realized how cool they were and then we got to develop this story over the last three years so there's a lot of stuff that drew me in so speaking of love Simon did you watch the movie or read the books prior to shooting I actually watched it in theaters so I was, I was like on it in 2018, I think. Yeah, 2018. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. So. That's been, man, that's been a minute. Pre-COVID. It's just been like four years. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that's right. Everything's just moving so fast. Yeah, but so slow at the same time. Like COVID has been going yeah. on for a minute. The, di- what, the days are long, but the years are short. Is that a saying? I feel like that's a saying. Is it? I don't know. It sounds wise. It's, anyway, it sounds sorry. Wise. Also, something I don't you mean could, to derail you. You could. It's something you could put on a T-shirt for sure. People would wear that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I should start selling them. I should <laughs> sell merch. Just <laughs> back to Felix. He's a pretty sarcastic guy. From talking to you for like five seconds, uh, I know this applies to you as well. Um, how did you prepare to uh, get into your role, which probably didn't take um, that much. Uh, actually, I mean, there's like key differences between me and Felix. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to remember because it was so long ago. Like, what did I do to start? I kind of just like went for, you know, uh, uh, like kind of what I felt in the room from what I remember. And then like, since they called me back, I was like, I should do that again. And then I did. (laughs) From what I remember, I think that's how it happened. And then over time, I just kind of, you kind of just develop the character as you go. And so, like, if you, like, probably, if you look at, like, episode one, and then you look at, like, an episode, like, in season two, the character's probably going to be more, like, there, I would say. Because I think I was still finding it throughout the, throughout the process. I mean, and that's natural. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mostly everything I've done, it's worked that way. You just kind of, like, you kind of find it along the way. And so, um, uh. You don't find it, it finds you in a way. So Yeah, but I mean that reflects on like normal life as well. Like you develop as you go. For sure. For sure. And I mean like the more you find out about the character and the more like uh um lore is a bad term, but you know what I mean, like like uh, history behind them. Like yeah. it, it, it becomes more fleshed out in that way. And so I think it's more uh uh easier to process for the spectator and for the actor itself. So, season three is coming out next month. We just got the trailer, and it looks great. I'm really excited. Um, But you guys found out halfway through filming season three that it would be your last season. Do you Mm -hmm. think, without giving anything away, that Felix got the ending he deserved? Yes. I do. I think it, it was a very good choice of how they ended things. I think it's, uh, um, yeah, I think without saying anything, I think it did the ending as a whole, I think did everyone justice, but, uh, I think for my character, it definitely, you know, was a good ending for him. And I mean, even the ending in season two shows his character development that he, um, chose another person over the girl he's been chasing for two seasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I like they've, uh, 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 yeah, there's been a lot of changes I, with everybody, but uh, Felix as well. Um, <clears throat> and I mean, uh, this season's no different. So, you know, he uh, uh, it's definitely I, I, I'm afraid I'm going to spoil something. But yeah, no, I definitely think, you know, it's a good end. <laughs> OK, so to keep you from spoiling anything, we're going 
behind the scenes. So what is your favorite sure. memory from set from like this season, let's say? This season? Oh gosh. There's a lot. I mean, any, I, I mean, I could do this with any of the seasons. My favorite moments are um, when it's like super late and everyone's on their like t- 10th cup of coffee. That's like my favorite time to be working because everyone's just loopy enough to like have fun and like, you know, but it's still like, you know, we still got to get stuff done, but you're able to like, you know, do awesome work. And at the same time, it just feels like, you know, hanging out. And so I've, uh, yeah, I would say like any time it was a night shoot. So whenever it's night outside, I'm having a blast. That's fun. That's fun. I, I imagine we yeah. have, I don't know if it's a saying in the U.S., but we have a saying in Germany, which pretty much goes after tired comes stupid. That's fair. So, and I mean, it's the best time. Best, yeah. best memories are made. A hundred percent. And I'm always yeah. tired. So, yeah. Gen Z are just tired people. Let's be honest. That's true. I, or actually, no, no I'll say. So I, uh, 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 I have been watching a TV show, and uh, uh, I was watching it last night, and I looked up and it was eight a.m. So uh, uh, I'm definitely knocking out after this. Yeah, I see you with the Red I have, Bull. I have a Red Bull and five hour energy right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I uh, uh, so I understand the tired thing for sure. Because apparently my I just can't keep a sleep schedule together. What show did you watch that kept you awake until eight a.m.? Um, Better Call Saul. <laughs> it's a I, good show. I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. it you should watch. Yeah, it's fun. It's a good time. Um, and uh, um, Firefly. That's another one I've been watching. That one's great. That's always. I have a Nathan Fillion poster right there. But yeah. I anyway, just, sorry. I, I just know him if I'm not mixing up names. I just know him as Castle. If that's that is him. Okay, I'm not mixing up names. Yes. Good. Yeah. No. Good. You are. You are correct. Yeah. Good. Because that is something I used to watch with my parents. Now I can't watch. I used it to watch that with my mom too. Yeah. Yeah. Gen Z that experience. Was, it, it was awesome. It was a good show. Whatever so happened. Good. Yeah. So what good. was that? Like 2010, 2011. Oh, I, I don't think. know, because it came out later in Germany, I think, because it needs to be mm. translated. But now I That's can't fair. watch it in German anymore. I can can watch things with, with dub. I, I cannot. Oh, you can't? I hate... I, I only watch things in German. I mean, it's an experience for Sorry. sure. Sorry. <laughs> it's an experience for sure. Like, I don't even yeah. know what Felix's voice sounds like in German. Oh really? Because like because I, I know, never even thought about it. Because I know your actual voice from watching it in English, mm. the German voice just makes me icky. I don't know why, and it's for every really? show. Really? It's for every Interesting. show. Interesting. I'm kind of curious now to see what they who they picked for me. You want me to look at? Is up? there a way to find that out? Yeah, give me give me like two seconds. No way. Wait, wait really? Yeah, it's on. It's uh, in Germany. It's on Disney Plus. Give me two seconds. I have it for you. Oh okay. Yeah, I want to. I want to see. What, what scene do you want to see? Uh, any scene. I, I, I just. Hier oben, Felix. Falls Sie mal eine Tasse Milch brauchen, ich bin für Sie da. Ich muss dringend mal pinkeln. Oh ja, kleine Blase. Kann ich nachfüllen, Mann. <laughs> oh, who is that? He did great. I feel like that matches well. <laughs> but like. Yeah. Uh, no, knowing knowing a person's actual voice, I can mm. no longer deal. Which is why I don't know if you've heard of Young Royals. It's an Netflix. I have. Film. That's another yeah. one I've been meaning to check so out. So it's it's Swedish, but which I love. The actors, every actor dubs themselves in English. Wow. So that way I can watch it in English without killing myself. Um, that, that yeah, I get that. That got dark. No. <laughs> no, that that's cool though. Wow, those guys are talented. I gotta watch that one. I've heard great things about that and um, um, Heartstoppers. Yeah, let, let me let me know what you think. I'm very yeah, definitely intrigued. will do. I mm-hmm. I have Heartstopper has been my latest hyperfixation. So, I so I've been hearing. I hear that's fantastic. I've been able to check it out, but it's on it's on my list. Oh wow! You got the book. I have all the books. We don't talk about it. 
Um, okay, now show me Love, Simon, right now. Go. Oh, you have it. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Congratulations. She dabbles. <laughs> um, okay, back to Love, Victor. What was your favorite <clears throat> scene overall to film? And what was the most difficult scene to film? Ooh. My favorite scene, um, when Victor comes out, I think that was a really fun scene to play. Um, do you mean in all three seasons, or do you mean like a specific season? I mean, you can't spoil season three, so we're going season yeah. one and season two. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah, definitely the coming out scene was uh, so much fun, and that was awesome to be able to like share that moment uh, with Michael. Um, and then uh, the most difficult scene... Hmm. There was a scene where I had to say simpatico. I've seen Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Everyone's seen these bloopers. Hulu made sure of that. Uh <laughs> no, but uh yeah, no, I uh couldn't say simpatico. And that one was infuriating. Uh to my very soul. But um yeah, I, I would say that one was a tough one for me. Um but uh yeah. Very entertaining to watch, though. Very entertaining. Yeah, yeah, they kept on cutting back. <laughs> I actually wa oh, okay. watched it watched it last night in preparation, um, because I heard you talk about it in a different interview. So I was like, hold on, I don't remember. Yeah, this. yeah. I, I mean, if anyone asks me what's the most difficult scene, that's the one I'm gonna bring up, because I was, I just couldn't say that word, and now I say it fine. You know, it scarred you for life. It's okay. It genuinely haunts my dreams, but. You know, here I am. Sympathetic okay. goes my sleep paralysis demon. Oh, wow. we, all we, we all have one. Yeah. It's just the word. Sympathetic. Okay. So I already, <laughs> I, I already teased this. Uh, and I said it's going to be very confusing if you don't know what Teen Wolf is. Um, but you've heard about it. You haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. But... No, no, no. I've definitely heard of Teen Wolf. Okay. So I don't know if you heard about this, but as a Gen Z who is frequently on TikTok and in different fandoms, I don't, I have, I I need to bring this up. So I don't know if you've heard about people comparing you to Dylan O'Brien's yep. character. Yes. Um, yeah, I've ha I have heard about it. Yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. So I have a little game prepared. I right. have a couple lines for you uh, that are either your lines from Love, Victor or stuff Styles says on Team mm. Wolf to show okay. you just how similar you are. And let's see if you remember what you said and what you didn't say. Okay. Okay. Let's do we're, it. I think we're starting. I'm genuinely off, nervous. All right. I think we're starting off pretty easy with the line If you guys need a cup of milk, I'm your guy. Oh, that's me. That's me. Yes. Okay. Um, the next one is Personally, I'm a fan of ignoring a problem until eventually it just goes away. That's. That's Dylan, right? Yes. Yes, knew it. Okay. Okay, the next one is sarcasm is my only defense. Oh, shit. Um, I think that's Dylan. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> the next one is, but where's your sense of whimsy? Oh, that's Felix. That's Felix. Yeah. The next one is, am I not attractive to gay guys? I feel like this is a trick question. I think it's Dylan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we got stressed and depressed as my resting state. That's Felix. Yeah. Which is very relatable, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that line. <laughs> Wait. The things you two get up to in here. The things you two get up to in here. Uh, the two things. You... No, I didn't say that. That's him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we I'm got... good at this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've been playing Felix for a while, so... That's true. That's true. I, sh I guess if anyone would know, it would be me. I s okay, I won't feel proud of myself then. Go on. <laughs> no, no, I'll just be sad over here. You can still be proud. <laughs> okay. Um, the next one is, you made me aware of my blinking. That's me. Yep. Then we got, we are supposed to take care of each other. That's him. 
right? Oh my gosh, I'm acing this. Then we got, I can't live in the shadows, I'm pale enough as it is. That was me. That was me. Yeah. Yeah. There is a lake in there, but I cut it out because, like, it would have been too obvious. That would be fair. That would be fair. And the last one is, you read that movie? You read that movie? Because I don't understand that? <laughs> I'm going to go Dylan? Yes. Okay. So, to explain that line, it's a scene in the show where um, they talk about little mermaid and she and another character goes it's a great book and he goes you read that movie oh that's a good line <laughs> so i tried this out on a couple of my friends who know love victor and teen wolf and i stumped them on some of them which i was very proud of which ones did you stump them on uh the um the stressed and desperate is my resting state because it's um the full line of um, sarcasm is my only defense by styles is I'm 147 pounds of pale skin and fragile bone sarcasm is my only defense and oh, wow. so I shortened it and it confused people dang wow okay yeah I, okay, I can see that I guess because I said them it was kind of easier for me yeah but like, um, you know they are like my tiktok for like a little amount of time was full with edits of you and Dylan and people being really? like, uh, doing like uh, like crossovers that you guys are brothers, and they are cut so nicely that you're like mm, maybe. Maybe do you want do you want to show me one? Good for you. I mean, you I can't watch... talk about it. And I don't see them. So like Sorry. like so like you cut um, our scenes together. Yes, I'll I'll show you one. There is another one uh, with is which is not just you and Dylan, but also um, do you know the the movie or well it's a movie and a show. My babysitter is a vampire. I do. So they put you, Dylan, and Benny as brothers. I've heard these comparisons before. I used to watch My Babysitter's a Vampire. It's so good. It's a really it was from what I remember. I think it was like two thousand eleven. I don't know. Sorry, I just like like naming years. All right, let me see. Oh wait, do you mind moving it like that way a bit more? Wow, we could be. We it's could be so brothers. That, that was, you guys did that? Um, no. Um, someone called 213 Hill. But it's it's been out for a minute. 213 Hill? Yeah, 213 Hill. Oh, and it was well, you posted, did a good job. It was, it was posted in 2020, so it's been a minute. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. They're like, yeah, they probably don't even remember me now. <laughs> Like, who, who knows? Who knows? Okay. Um, oh, that's funny. Going back to the interview part, we're going to talk a little bit about acting. Because sure. th that's the reason why you're here. Um, what true. In, what inspired you to begin acting in the first place? Um, I was five years old, and I uh, did a play in The Wizard of Oz, and I was the munchkin. I was mm -hmm. part of the Lollipop Guild. And I was like, yep, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And so ever since then, I was like, that's what I want to be, an actor. So that's kind of what, like, sparked my interest in it. And I mean, from what I know, you're, you're, you've been in L.A., born and raised, right? Like, your yep. whole life? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. That probably mm -hmm. also Yeah, helped. so I, I, I got very lucky. Yeah, very lucky. So I was kind of in the heart of it. So what is your favorite thing about acting? Ooh, um, I'd say all of it, really. Most of it, I would say. I mean, uh, the people are great. Uh, being able to, like, uh, work with insanely talented people and uh, uh, people you've, like, watched or looked up to is uh, really cool. Um, 
getting like flesh out a character and like make it your own and like uh, just be creative um basically kind of everything being able to just do it as a job and like read a script and like fool around with it or like if there's comedy like trying to make it funny or uh just like you know just everything really i like breaking stuff down um and then also just like you know you're getting a new script and you get to like see what happens next and look like you're living through it for the first time there's everything's great i love it all so growing up as a child actor what is like one advice that stuck with you that um you got about acting about acting yeah um oof. or in general uh best when i was a child actor or like uh, i would your, say in your whole career so far like oh what? in my whole career um yeah. i would say uh Well, if you're a child actor, like, being mature goes a long way. Um, being polite and considerate is, like, a huge plus. Um, and then acting in general. Uh, if I could narrow it down to one. Hmm. I'd say, like, work on your craft. Like, I'd say if, like, if you are wanting to be, like, the best you possibly can be, just keep on working at it. Um, even if you, uh, uh, like, aren't booked for anything or there's, like, not an audition coming in, just make sure you're still doing something in that realm. Um, because, uh, like, that's going to, you know, bring you to the next level. And you don't want to, like, be at the same place you were at at, like, 13 or 14. So uh, that's probably what I would say. Just keep on working on your craft. Um, going off that, what is, if you could go back and talk to your younger self or to the next generation of actors, what is like one mm. advice you would give them? Um, don't be afraid to fail. Um, there's a good quote. It's, uh, um, the difference between the student and the master is the master has failed more times than the student has tried. Um, and it's a good quote and it, and it, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, definitely true. I mean, don't be afraid to fail. Uh, try to learn something from it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think you're going to fail in this business. It's just a must. So do improv. Get up on stage. Um, embarrass yourself. Get used to that because it's going to happen a lot. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I just d don't be afraid to put yourself out there. If you are just uh, uh, able to fight that fear and just get out there you're, you're gonna do good i promise okay since we already went like in sort of like an inspirational deeper way of the interview mm -hmm. um how do you maintain a balance between your professional and your personal life <laughs> um that's an interesting question that's a really good question uh That's really interesting. I mean, it's just, uh, it's weird because like, it's kind of my life in a way, like everything is like, this is what I do. Um, so I would say it's kind of my personal life and kind of my work life in a way, which I'm not sure if that's bad, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, I would say, uh, just, you know, maintaining like friends and like, uh, if you're in the business with like other actors, um, talk about something else other than acting, I would say. If you're only talking about like your career with people, um, I could see people getting burnt out real fast. That's another thing. Um, uh, make sure make sure you're doing something you enjoy or else you'll get burned out real quick. And um, uh, that's a hard thing to come out of. Um, yeah, so I, I would say uh, just make sure you have friends that you're talking about things other than like your career path. And so like for me, uh, I talk about video games a lot with people or I talk about like um, video games a lot with people. So it's, uh, uh, you know, a, w a wide variety of topics uh, specific to video games. But um, no, it's uh, but yeah, just like make sure you you're, you're focusing on other things once in a while is probably what I would say. I yeah, wouldn't I say think... I'm good at it, but <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's my uh, throw out the dartboard. <laughs> 
But I think that advice works for like every every like career path you go on. Too. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I, I think, you know, like, um, yeah, being too close to things uh, all the time is definitely going to um, put like a skew on your enjoyment of it. And so, um, yeah, I would say, you know, just make sure you're taking a break and, um, you know, talk about having fun games. and talk about video games. I don't even play. I just talk about it. They're like, wow, you're really, yeah, I'm like a gaming journalist that doesn't get paid. So what's Sorry. Your favorite, <laughs> what is what is your favorite game like Smash Bros or? Uh, well, I like narr- like uh, single player narratives. So like Skyrim's incredible. Red Dead Redemption Two was really good. Um, uh, God of War is great. Um, the the newest one especially. Um, uh, the Last of Us has an incredible storyline. Um, and so uh, and I'm like uh, the Fallout series is really good as well, especially New Vegas. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, so like I, I I like a lot of like just good story type games, um, a good lore like they they built the universe out well, and so uh, yeah, that's kind of my general vibe. So if anyone listening needs uh, game recommendations, here you go. Yeah, there you go. I mean, if yeah, for sure, Fallout's great, Skyrim and the Elder Scrolls in general is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I any any I I mean I have three books of. Uh, about the Elder Scrolls on my on my thing, so I'm pretty involved. Uh. <laughs> I mean, we all have our things that we focus on. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like you were trying so hard not to diss me, and I appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, I showed you how. Yeah, we all we all I, have our thing. <laughs> I showed you how quickly I grabbed those books. No, no, I get it. I get it. I could, if I was not as lazy, I would get them. Hold on. Is that Teen have, Wolf? That is Teen Wolf. All six. You read that TV show? No, it's it's all the discs. Oh, I thought it was a book. Ah, dang no. it. That was supposed to be a callback. Oh. Damn it. Sorry. Honestly, I think this has been one of my favorite interviews I've done. No way. Really? Oh, I well, you know, I'm happy to, to be on the, on the top of that list. One and of I the mean, top. I mean, the 20 minutes before we started recording of you figuring out internet that oh first of all i wasn't figuring out internet okay i was figuring out the application to get on because it's riverside i mean which sounds like a street to be honest or a town <laughs> um uh, yeah me helping you with your mac it's it's been it's no been i appreciate now i know how to copy things people shouldn't i i <laughs> i just got this i just got a mac i you know this is new to me you are currently on, like, my Mac is on a desk that I can roll over um, my bed because um, that's also a quarantine buy because depression. Um, yeah. I don't have to yeah. leave my bed to, like, I can pull it up. And I did, like, online classes in bed. It is the best thing ever. You are li- living my dream. That sounds so nice. It's so that great. That sounds Trust so me, nice. Best purchase ever. That's oh my gosh no I I could never do that I make my life too hard, I, but that's that sounds incredible oh my god and I also shouldn't be making fun of the TV thing I literally have nothing on this wall it looks like I was kidnapped and like just placed in a basement I love that we're basically just the same person it's, yeah it's pretty great. much pretty it's much it's great yeah so Felix is has especially in season two like a lot of scenes with his mom and they go like a little more emotional. Um, mm-hmm. how do you deal with those type of scenes in general? Like not even if it's on Love, Victor, just in general, how do you prepare for scenes like that? Yeah. I mean, it just depends, uh, what like the scene is. Um, I mean, like it's, I don't know. You just kind of like feel sympathy for the character a bit. Um, and then you just kind of see what happens. I'm not a huge fan of like planning all the time. And so you kind of just like go in and just see what occurs. Um, Cause it's like, you know, especially, I mean, my thought process is like, it should be like in the moment and everything should be present. And so, um, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I understand where the character is and I understand like what happened. Um, and then, uh, you know, for like scenes like that, I usually like feels like 
some sort of sympathy or um if i'm in the scene correctly i would you know you're, you're just feeling kind of the emotions of the character because it's supposed to be happening to you and so um uh yeah i would i really it's just like a you know trying to surround yourself in the scene and uh, uh just be connected with your scene partner so you can um uh mostly play off each other and that's where that's where most emotion comes from is from each other you're kind of like feeding each other off and so um if you're like in the scene with them you you it, it, there should be no problem but what do you think is more fun like more emotional stuff or like just a sarcastic witty oh both both i mean they're fun for different reasons um yeah i mean it, it to, uh, the thing i love most is just connecting with a scene partner and like like truly like having fun and just like uh um yeah so i any any time i'm able to do that drama to your comedy i feel like you know it's it's fun either way um uh yeah i'm, I'm i would I, I would be more specific on like like oh this specific scene was really fun and that could be dra drama drama to, oh my god drama or comedy so either or this just turned into simpatico all over again no, don't start it. Don't start it. I was, the curse was over. The curse was done with. It was in the past. Why did you bring it back to me? Don't worry. I can't cut a blooper reel out of it because you corrected yourself so quickly. Yep, let's Ma see. Maybe I'll loop it. No. <laughs> I want to have it, have it, have it. Oh, no. <laughs> what have you done to me? <laughs> I broke him. I'm sorry. Oh my god. And Anthony Tapal's career was done for from this moment on. He could never say another line. Thanks on that to note, Luna. On that note, what role would you love to play? A mute character? What role would I love to play? Yeah. Um like a villain or I don't know. Oh, um yeah. I mean I uh uh uh, I really like playing villains. Um, and I'm trying to think of something that like I haven't done yet. Um, I would like to be uh, like you know you know the guy in like the top hat at a carnival with the long mustache. I want to be like him so I can like bring in my transatlantic accent and it like fit. You know like one of these. Hello, how are you? You know what I mean? And so I want to talk it. like this for 16 hours a day. And then uh, um, everyone hate me. So that's uh, uh, that's what I want. I want to be a carny. I, I'd watch that. Honestly, I'd watch that. Mm. I really like that accent. So I, I, I want to like try to include it somewhere. I probably have at some point. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I really want to do something like that. Or like, uh, um, what was... Uh, it was American Horror, Horror Story Hotel. Um, Evan Peters' his character. You know, kind of like that, like slick back Walt Disney look. That'd also be fun. So, one of those two. I, would say. I love that you mentioned his name because that is the only person I know or, like, the only thing I know about American Horror Story. American Horror Story? Yeah, I have never seen it. You should watch it. It's really good. Okay, I'll, I'll try. It's a good show. How okay. many seasons are there? That sounds like commitment. It, 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 it's, it's, uh, you can go from anyone. It doesn't need to connect. So. Okay. Hotel was good, though. I liked Hotel. Because the Lady last Gaga. time... <laughs> the last time I really She's committed fabulous. to something, I watched Supernatural. Supernatural. My, uh, uh, uh... Why? Oh, no, I have seen... I've seen, like, parts of that before. Yeah, I... Long hair, um, short hair brother. Mm-hmm. Both, I've like, I've watched... Ripped. I've watched 12 seasons in two months. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. And it was 15 yeah. in total. But when I started, I watched 12 seasons in two months. When was this? Oh, it's it's been a minute. I was still in school, so it was like 2017. Okay. Okay. That So I should watch this in full then. It's very fun. I should just sit down and binge. It's, it's very you know fun. What? It's very fun. You, you know what's a show no one brings up, but it was a really good show? Do you know Ghost Whisperer? <gasps> My mom was watching it earlier. Uh, wait, really? So, yeah, she it's it's on the TV in Germany like every day. And she watched it earlier and I was like watching along because I love it. 
Yeah, I I Ghost Whisperer it is an amazing show. And it's I don't so like good. I it was like early it was perfect it was perfect like 2006, like early 2000s vibes. Um do you know the one where the guy like gets into a car crash and when he like comes back he's just a dude on fire? <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't know why that's a, It's it's been etched into my brain. But it's such um a good episode such a good episode and she's a fabulous actress um but uh yeah no i don't I, I just that i don't know that that's like part of my childhood just watching um that show but yeah anyway i mean another show that you brought up in a, another interview was how i met your mother yeah i love how i met uh how i met your mother that that's a great show it's so good have you seen how i met your father though i literally just started it and i've I'm starting to watch it now. And so I don't have a review for it yet, but I know as it's As you bad. should. As you should. I, yes. I love I love Hillary Duff. So as soon as I came Me out, too. I was like, ooh, let's mm. watch it. Uh, Lizzie McGuire. I, I, I mean, come on. So good. Come on. So good. Talk uh, about a classic. Um, yeah, I mean, I was raised on, like, MeTV. So, like, all my, like, uh, Murder, She Wrote or... Hogan's Heroes or uh, Gilligan's Island. Really? None of these? No, I don't. You don't know Gilligan's Island? Maybe like they have a different title in Germany, but like, I don't know. Um, it, uh, it's like, what is that, 60s or 70s? Um, no, no, they're like good shows. I mean, should you watch them? It's up to you. It's like if you like that kind of like really old TV stuff. But um, there was there was good episodes. Like, a, uh, they were all stuck on this island, and um, uh, they were always so close to escaping, but they, like, always, like, mess it up somehow. But, like, there's, like, this, like, uh, uh, was he a scientist or a doctor? I don't remember. But he, like, makes a, a radio out of coconuts. And, like, people kept on visiting the island, but they'd always leave without him. It was oh. kind of depressing now that I think about it. I was going to say, that sounds very sad. Yeah, it, it, it was a comedy, but now it was it's a kind of dark now that I, you know bring it back back in my brain yeah oh well anyway sorry didn't mean to derail this i i love it i enjoy it very much okay but since we're already on like the topic of like tv shows we watch we're gonna mm -hmm. jump into like the last part of the interview which is just like random questions sure so these might stump you so be afraid um okay if you could switch bodies with someone for an entire day who would you switch with and why? Oh. Who's the tallest man in the world right now? Do you want me to look it up? No, we don't have to. That man, though. Whoever's the How tallest tall? person, I want to be that dude so that I can just, like, you know, experience that level of height. You How know? tall are you? 5'9". So I'm like, you know, which isn't like short, short. But I'm like, short, I still want to like, say again. I'm short, short. I'm five two. How tall are you? You're five two. That is short. That is short. Yeah. If it makes you feel better, I didn't hit five foot till like I want to say seventh grade, eighth grade maybe. So, yeah, I was. It, it took a minute. It definitely took a minute. But um, yeah, I wanna. I just want like you know, I want to see like the world from like eight feet. Be like, oh, look at this, you know. You're staying oh, in line, you see sounds, everyone's heads. That sounds really fun. Yeah. Especially for concerts. Everyone would get annoyed, but you had the you would have the greatest uh, view. Yeah, you know what? If it, if I only have it for one day, I'll go to a concert and get front row. Just just for the fun of it. Just, just to, to be piss that off guy. People. Yeah. <laughs> I keep telling uh telling my friend that they should like organize concerts like height wise so that the tiniest people are in the front and then it just goes taller that's that's a fair point but like don't people pay money to like get specific seats well if you get like just standing in general it's just like first come first serve and if oh. you're working mm -hmm. and can't be there like a day before the concert actually starts and you stand on the back it's very sad that's true that's why you need to bring stools it's or like a ladder. Bring stools. Say again. They don't let you bring that into a concert, though. You could hurt other people with it. That's fair. I mean, the amount I'm, of I'm... stool-related accidents I've been involved in. Let me tell you. 
<laughs> I mean, I I sound like I'm speaking from experience, but I've never brought a stool into a concert. That's that's fair. That's fair. You know, I I, I would. I mean, everyone else has, so you're like the outlier here. But you know, it's fine. I'll I'll do it. I'll do it for the next concert. Yeah, you should. You should. Mm-hmm. Just get like a it's, ladder. It's, ju- it's June eleventh. If you see me in Hamburg at the Olivia Rodrigo concert with the stool, just mm-hmm. keep walking. Just yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. you now, now you know. Now you know. See, now, now we're gonna start a trend. Know. Now everyone's gonna be bringing stools, and then it's not gonna matter because now everyone has stools, so it's like the same level again. We're making it mainstream. Yeah. Okay. We are. Speaking of concerts and music, if you had to pick a song to play every single time you enter a room, sort of like your walk-in song, what would it be and why? For life? For life. Every single time you enter Okay, let's think about this, like, rationally. I'm gonna hate this song by, like, year three, maybe. I'm I'm gonna, like, live outside because I'm not gonna want to walk into rooms. So I gotta like, what's like the shortest song to ever like, like a quick just like two second thing, like a jingle. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, it doesn't uh, have to play. What's the, the what's the jingle that goes um, da, 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 da. is Folgers in your cup? That one, um, the coffee. I'll do that jingle just so it's like over fast and done with. Okay. So mm-hmm. I can't add that song to our playlist because we do have a playlist with. Uh, oh, okay, okay, no, 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 no. If you want a playlist, uh, do the Return of by Left Boy. Great song. That is a good choice. Mm-hmm. Or Steam Powered Giraffe, my favorite band. Those guys are great. If you tell me a song, I'll put it in. Um. Uh. What's like a good song for for like that type of um lying awake's good uh hot on hot on the trail's good um me and my baby um they got a lot of good stuff i mean it's a weird band though so just like be ready they dress up as robots and then sing about being robots so yeah i just saw the cover <laughs> they're very good though but it- it, it it is this playlist is all over the place too it has uh thrift job from macklemore in there wonder oh, wow. Wall. um then we got temperature from sean powell and no lying awake okay good 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 lying awake that's a good one zero it was, the first, it was the first one you said <laughs> okay still a song but a different song what would be if there was a show made about your life what song would be the theme song? Gosh, you're giving me tough ones. Um, I just like, there's so many songs. Uh, you know what? I Just because I like the like beat of it, I'll do a Left Boy's Return of. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a great song. I love it's it. It's a great song. It's like, it pumps so you up. It. You know? Yeah, so I'll do that one. Or his song, Chemistry. That's not a good one. What is, besides video games, what is your favorite activity to pass time? Um, well, I mean, movies and, like, TV. But um, something that, like, doesn't relate to that stuff. Uh, I like uh, um, my dog. I like my dog. I like uh, um, walking. I <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, uh, uh, trying to think other than like video games, TV, movies, and acting. What else does Gen Z do? What What else do I do? Oh my God. What else do I do? I like to pretend I'm capable at playing a sport. I don't play. I just like pretend I'm capable of it. Um, I like to, uh, um, stand outside of clubs and then think about going in. But right before I walk through the door, I turn around and walk away. And then you I go home and cry myself to sleep. Yeah, that's another good one. Oh, my um, God. Yep, yep, yep. I like to uh, um, uh, have long conversations with my dog. And then, uh, you know, have like a realization that she's not a human. And she only uh, looks at me for treats. And, you know. Um, Honestly, we're the same person. Yeah, yeah. I like to stare at like 
a corner for a while. That's always fun. Just contemplate life, you know, and death and uh, nothing matters. Um, uh, yeah, that's kind of just my vibe. <laughs> I mean, honestly, same. My dog sometimes looks at me like I'm stupid. Oh, yeah. Which I get. Like, yeah. Um, this is weird. Like, oh, I already showed you her. but I'm, like, this close to getting my dog from downstairs. Go get your dog. I want to okay, see. Okay, wait. Well, hey, ho, ho. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, look at the baby. Do you oh, see? Oh my gosh, Paige. You're so cute. Say hi. Say hi. This is Willow. This is Willow. She's so annoyed because I woke her up. She was also but asleep. She was asleep and she has one eye. Her death oh. perception is awful. Oh. Yeah. Okay, fine, I'll let you down. But, uh, she is so cute. You want to sleep on my bed? This is the first interview where we just started talking to our dogs and just... So, continuing with the questions. This is um, my new co-host. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Oh, um, she's so cute. All right, sorry, go on. She's so tired. I can tell. Yeah, my dog is too. I got that. Hi, Do you want to pee? I have a pee here. You want to pee? Oh. 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 That's so cute. I would give you a T-R-E-A-T, Willow, but they're over there, so. Was it they're nice? I'm going to stop. No, I'm joking. Was it okay. nice? Okay. Hi. Oh. No, you're not getting more. Don't look at that. <laughs> she, also, she also just comes for treats. Yep. Um, okay. What is your favorite place you have traveled to? Ooh. I would say Hawaii, probably. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, uh, and just, like, a lot of really cool spots. Um, so, yeah, I'd say Hawaii. What would you like uh, people to remember about you when you're gone? Ugh. What do I want people to remember of me? Um... I, I mean, serious answer, probably just like, you know, I mean, if there has to be one thing, probably like my work, I would say, you know, just like, you know, if you could just remember that, that'd be cool. Um, watch it once in a while. Uh, I would say probably that or my, uh, uh, um, or my variety of suits, one of the two. I don't have a variety though, but I will at one point. That's the goal. I want a variety of different type of three piece suits. And so uh um just got just got one now, so I'm like starting the collection. So uh um either my non existent suits or you know, my job, one of the two. So you got a plan for the next suit? That's true. I'm I'm thinking about doing like a little something a little bit more zany, you know? Like a cool pattern maybe. Um, or like stripes, but who knows? I haven't figured it out yet. But I love that. I yeah. Love that. Okay. Um, what ridiculous thing has someone tricked you into doing or believing? Someone has something. tricked me. Gosh, I mean, I can't think of anything right now. What I, the one thing that comes on the top of my head? It's not really like someone tricking me, but I always thought it was let's play it by year and not let's play it by ear. And to this day, I still want to say let's play it by ear because that makes sense to me. I understand why let's play it by ear makes sense. But at the same time, let's play it by year still works. It's like this year, next year, I guess we'll figure it out, you know? So um, uh, I, I stand by that. I think, you know, year is better, but that's something. I love that. I love that. I'm going to I'm gonna start it. We're, we're just starting it. Yeah, well, Let's I've been doing it for you. years. Yeah, I mean, you definitely. But I'll, you I'll help. We'll, we'll, I'll, we'll, I'll push we'll take... it in Germany. Say again? I'll push it in Germany. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll get the American target. You get the Germany target. Eventually, everyone's going to be saying it. It'll be starting trends. Um, yeah, as, as we should. We'll see it on TikTok one day, and we'll be like, we made it. But yeah.
That would be great. Uh, okay. Um, if your hometown was a food, what food would it be? Oh my gosh. I don't know how to answer this. Um, my hometown was a food. I guess, uh, uh, the Baconator from Carl's Jr. And I'm not going to explain. It's okay. I'll, I'll look it up after. Yeah, I mean, no, I, yeah, I won't, no, everyone's going to be like, how does that relate? I'm like, not going to say, but it makes sense, I think. Okay. Mm. If it, if it makes sense to you, I, I believe you. I believe mm -hmm. you. So, if you didn't have the career you have right now, what would you be doing with your life? Oh, I don't know. Genuinely. I don't know. But, I don't know. There's nothing School? really else I want to do. So, I guess, like, wanting to do this. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I just kind of want to act. So, um, maybe, like, a firefighter. Or, like, I would intern somewhere. Probably would have gone to college. That's probably what would have happened. Probably be in college, college right now for like communications. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I've always wanted to be an actor, so. Okay. Do you know your Hogwarts house? And if so, what is it? I... Pretty sure I'm a Hufflepuff. I chose the wrong box, okay. <laughs> I'm also a Hufflepuff. Are you? And I, I got Hufflepuff vibes from you, so I. Did you? No, I, uh, 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 no, I think Hufflepuff's cool. I used to play, like, a Quidditch Harry Potter game on my home computer back when those were a thing. And, uh, uh I always picked Hufflepuff, so. There, um, for a while there was, like, a, a thing on TikTok, which was, like, a question, and depending on your answer would determine also what, like, house you're in. So it's basically you're standing in front of a door. The door is locked, but you want to go inside or, like, what would you do? If the door's locked, yeah. I'd probably knock first. See? Hufflepuff. First of all, who's like, oh man, this door's locked. Let me just break in. Like, right away? They don't even try knocking first? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I was just like, I would I, I Of would course knock. I would knock. Because I feel like that's... Why do that's... I want... Wait, first of all, what's the context? Why do I want to get into this door? Like, it, do I need to save somebody? I don't like, know. What fictional character do you think would be most exciting to meet in real life? Ooh, most fictional character. Um, that's tough. Nathan Drake, maybe? I would say Nathan Drake. He seems like a cool dude. Or Soli. He would be cool. Um, yeah, I'd pick those guys. Okay. And the last question, which we always ask to round up our interview, is what is the most useless talent that you have? Oh, I can click really loudly. Like, insanely loudly. Um, you want, should I do it? Okay. I'm not sure if this is going to, like, translate over phone, but... Did you hear that? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Nice. So, nice. You know... Uh, it's so useless. I can mine baseball, but that's about it. So, yeah. I mean, I know it's impressive, but it's it's a it's a party trick for sure. For sure, for sure. If anyone's like, can anyone mine baseball? I'd be like, oh, I got you. But uh, other than that, you know, there's nothing I'm to it. I'm your guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but with that, we're at the end of our podcast. Thank you so much for joining. Of course. Anytime. Thank you for having me. And we're all very excited for season three. So everybody listening and or watching. Mm -hmm. June 15th? June 15th. Yeah. Yeah. On uh, Hulu and Disney+. Plus. And that's Girl Stuff.